Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. This just in from Race Breck. Today's mountain bike race at French Gulch is postponed until tomorrow. It rained enough to swamp the trails. They are calling it for safety and for trail conditions. Tomorrow's race is same time, same place. Registration at 4 p.m. at the B&B Trailhead. Kids racing just after 5, adults just before 6. Speed and drunk driving are now suspected in Sunday's fatal car accident in Blue River. State Patrol is releasing more information. A fair play man was driving a pickup truck on Highway 9 toward Hoosier Pass when he lost control and slammed head-on into a Honda. All four people in the Honda were from St. Louis, Missouri. The driver, a 22-year-old woman, was killed. Three passengers in their 20s were hospitalized with serious injuries. Seat belts might have also been a factor. The pickup driver was wearing a seat belt and not injured. It is unclear if the Honda passengers were belted. Today was jury selection in the criminal trial for Joel Ponadell, a Silverthorne police sergeant accused of domestic abuse. Ponadell's wife and at least one other person reported that alleged abuse at their home in Evergreen. Trial begins tomorrow. The Blue River below Dillon Dam could flood this month, but it's not likely. Denver Water says the flood level is 1,800 cubic feet per second, and the river is far from that. Predicted peak is just 1,400 CFS. The unknown is rain. If rain continues and intensifies, flows could reach flood levels. Local families are leaving money on the table and might not even know it. 140 families applied for Summit Pre-K Child Care Assistance for 3- and 4-year-olds. That's down 29% from last year, nearly 60 families. Commissioner Elizabeth Lawrence wants to know why. Lucinda Burns at Early Childhood Options has one theory. I think there's a good chance that there's a fair number of families out there that think they applied for SPK because they applied for UPK. Universal and Summit Pre-K are separate, and you can apply for both. Contact Early Childhood Options with questions. They will be reopening the application for Summit Pre-K in July. Families in Silverthorne are getting priority placement at Wildflower Nature School. It's the new $9 million child care center up north. County officials, they're not so sure that's the best idea. We are the major capital funder of this. It just seems like a big decision that was made without our input. Applications for Wildflower are already full. The wait list is growing. It opens this fall. This week on the State of Summit, Habitat for Humanity has big plans for empty land at the entrance to Summit Cove. Five deed restricted units that will be sold to local families at 100% AMI or lower. That was Brandon House on the board for Summit Habitat. Construction is still almost a year away. Hopefully spring of 2024. And things have been slower than expected. It's been delayed a little bit. Basically, you know, Habitat only has a limited amount of resources. But behind the scenes, the gears are turning this month. We have our final approval before the Snake River Planning Commission on June 15th for our site plan approval. We have already been approved for the rezoning of the property. And House believes five lucky families will not be disappointed. School teachers, community service workers, anybody who you think of is a local worker really in the county. And like all habitat projects, they will have to work for it. Each potential habitat owner is required to put in a certain amount of sweat equity into their habitat home. Tune in again next week for the State of Summit on Crystal 93. Local fire danger remains low today in Summit with no fire restrictions. In sports, come watch the Nuggets play the Heat tonight, 6.30 at the AC Hotel in Frisco. We'll be having tickets to give away to Trombone Shorty in Vail and Tedeschi Trucks Band at Red Rocks. Also tonight, the Rockies play the Giants at 6.40. And in local sports, tomorrow's the opening day of GoPro Mountain Games in Vail with rock climbing, dual slalom mountain biking, and rafting. Competition continues all weekend, and you can still sign up for most races at mountaingames.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.